Today we're gonna to talk about the Heroya Hikaru V60 Smart Brewer. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about it. What is it? How does it work? Do I like it? Hey, it's Steven from Brutus Roasting. I was an early Kickstarter backer of this thing. This was finally delivered to me back in December. I've had it for a bit, been playing around with it, making some recipes. Let's talk about some of the features. The brewer came with the glass V60 for two and the glass carafe for two. Here's the power light. Up here we have the drink size buttons. There's a series of buttons on the top for Bluetooth, water level, and when you need to scale it. The machine will tell you when you need to scale. And then there's a stop start button on top. So let's talk about a little bit about the brewer. It does have a water tank in here. Here's the lid here. The graduated scale on here is very accurate. I weighed out 500 grams and poured the water in here. It was accurate. It went right to the 500 line. That's super unusual. I don't think I've ever actually seen that in a brewer before. So let's go ahead and turn the brewer on. So this light here showing right now is what they call the atmospheric light. When you're brewing some coffee and the brewer's heating up, the light will turn orange. Right now it's just sitting there, so the light is just flashing white, and that's kind of what it does. It's kind of fun, it's silly, but it's fun. It lets you know what the machine is doing. Up here underneath is what they call the dispensing spout. I would call it the shower head or the spray nozzles. There are five little nozzles up there that spray water down. There's also the anti-slip pad here, which just kind of holds the glass carafe in place. To brew a cup of coffee is very simple to get started. I used a quick start guide. Basically so you can just turn the machine on, you fill it to the level of water that you need, and then on the top you select whether you want a small, medium, or large brew, and you just press start. It's as easy as that. The brewer has a number of preset recipes built into it, and if you want to do a quick brew, all you got to do is put your water in, you press small, medium, or large, and then just press start, stop. That's as easy as it is. It is set up with a number of recipes for light roast, medium roast, dark roast, and then small, medium, large of each of those. So you do have a choice of nine different recipes that are built into the machine. You can set one of the brews up as your primary brew that's already built in there, but you have to do that through the app. If you want to access the medium or dark roast brews, you also have to access through those through the app. A nice little feature in the manual for the small, medium, and large batch sizes it does tell you how many grams of coffee recommends using and how much water you're gonna get out. In this case, a small is 290 milliliters, a medium is 440, and a large is 580. One little quirk with the machine is when I first got it, I was excited to use it. I opened the quick start guide, of course. I poured my water and started to brew, and the cup came out way larger than I was expecting. I couldn't figure out that, why that was. I did a number of brews, tried to figure it out, and then I read through the whole entire manual, and towards the back, there's a calibration thing, and it says that if you move the machine recently, or the machine has been moved, the water level measuring device may have gotten out of calibration. So I went through and I did the calibration on the machine, and since then, I've gotten the exact amount required every single time. I feel like if, you know, obviously when it's gonna be mailed to you, and it's gonna be moved around, so it might get out of calibration. I feel like at the top of the quick start guide, there should be a note on there saying, if this is your first time using it, we recommend going through the calibration settings. My favorite feature of the brewer so far has been the ability to create recipes. You use your app and then create your own brews. You can do up to five pours, including the bloom. So let's walk through using the app. The first thing you do is connect your Hikaro to the app. Here you can see the small light roast, medium light roast, and large light roast. And in there you can see light roast, medium roast, dark roast in each selection. And then here's your personal recipe. You click that, you can see the setup for that. And let's create a recipe. You click create a recipe. First, let's go ahead and name the recipe. So we're gonna call this V60 five pour single cup. And we're gonna go ahead and name this version one. And let's go ahead and set this to 95 degrees because we're gonna brew it a pretty light roast and I like it to be hotter water. And we're gonna use 20 grams of water. We're gonna do a five pour, so we're gonna do five equal pours. And we're gonna start with an initial brew of 60 milliliters. We're gonna set the flow level to 10 because we want a stronger water level. And we're gonna set our initial bloom interval to 45 seconds. Let's go ahead and set this up, press done. And then we're gonna select our next pour interval and we're going to again use 60 milliliters. Click next. And this time we're gonna use a less strong stream and we're gonna use 
level four and we're gonna do a shorter duration interval and 15 seconds. The next one, again, we're gonna do 60 grams for step three. And click next and set level three. And let's do oh, around 10 seconds for this one. And step four, 60 milliliters again, next. Let's do level three again, and then we'll do like 10 seconds, or eight seconds, I guess this time. And click done. And then the final pour, we're gonna do 60 milliliters to bring us up to a total of 60 milliliters. And click next, set the level to three, and then we'll set a level of 10, but it doesn't really matter in the last interval. And then you just click save here. And then successful and then here you see you can go in here and you can't really edit in any kind of way which is kind of a bummer I kind of wish you could here so let's go ahead and start our brew so all you have to do is click brew and then the machine is gonna fire up and immediately start uh, warming up the brewer so here it is you see warming up so as soon as you do that uh, you see the machine the ambient ring change the orange and it starts lighting up and the temperature starts heating up and let's just go ahead and speed this video up so that way we don't have to sit here and wait for it and here we go and as soon as it's up to the proper temperature it's going to go ahead and immediately start brewing so here it is dosing out water now and you can see the first pour immediately starts and then we'll go ahead and speed this up and then it goes through its subsequent pours and then it's gonna go ahead and after all the pours, it'll just finish that up. We're gonna speed this up so we can move this along. And then once all the pours are done, it's just gonna say finished and that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, the app is pretty great to work with. It's been really fun playing around with those variables and see how you can affect the coffee and what differences things can make. So the app has been really fun. It's a lot of fun to play with. I've really enjoyed this brewer. I like the app. The functionality app is a lot of fun. It's fun to go in there and create your recipes. A couple drawbacks of the app are there's really no instructions whatsoever in the manual or in the app of when you're creating a recipe of what those settings are doing. Obviously the water level, like what level you want your bloom to go to or each pour to go, that part is obvious. But then when you go to the next screen level, and that is not as intuitive. And basically what it means is what strength do you want the water to pour down to? What water level do you want it to end at? and then how long you want your rest to be. So it's not very intuitive there of what all those things are when you're first using it. Once you get used to it, it's really easy and it's quick and fast to go in and create a new recipe. A downside of the app is, uh, as far as I can tell, there at least on an Android phone, there is no way to edit the recipe. So, once you, so when I was first playing around with the machine and creating a recipe, and I learned, oh, I messed this part up or I didn't set enough rest time in between each brew, I now have to go in and create a, an entire new recipe. So that's kind of annoying because I was just playing around and it would be awesome to just be able to make small adjustments to a recipe to dial it in. And But it seems like I have to create an entire new recipe every time and I'm not sure why that is. Another part is you can't delete a recipe. So once you create them, so I already have like 15 recipes in this thing and it's kind of a hassle to have to keep creating new recipes. I suppose the good thing will be since it's just software, hopefully over time they'll keep on updating the app and it can get really dialed in. Okay, let's get this thing fired up and brew some coffee. So you press and hold the button and there it is. Now it's turned on, you can see the light glowing. So I'm just gonna fire up my app here and it's connecting right now to the brewer. I'm gonna select my recipe from the brewer and now I'm gonna hit brew. And now you can see this thing is heating up and it's lighting up orange. After you've completed a brew, if there's still some water left in a tank, all you have to do is press the start and stop on the top and the water machine will automatically dispense out all the water. So what do I think about this machine? Overall, I think this machine's awesome. It's so much fun. I've had a lot of great fun playing with it. So it's fun to maybe program a recipe that you saw on YouTube or you read about on Instagram and then compare it against your own and see how it tastes, see if there's any differences, as long as the coffee's the same and kind of taste them blind and see what you think. So that's been a ton of fun. The machine is expensive right now. It's available for pre-order. 
It is 633, but overall, I've had a ton of fun with the machine. I really like it. Are there some things that can be worked on? Yes, like the app is not the best. It could get there because it's just software. So hopefully, as long as the company keeps on updating, keeps on working on the app, I think the potential is really there for this thing to be awesome. And I gotta say right now, it is one of my favorite brewers I've used so far. I really like this thing. It's been a ton of fun. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this brewer. Would you buy something like this? All right, have a great day, everybody. Take care. Peace.